So here we have the Volkswagen Golf SE Nav on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with a 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. So now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are 6,407. The information that's displayed above that on the trip computer can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. There are various different menus available, including satellite navigation and your phone, and the main one, the driver data, and the very handy digital readout for the speedometer, which you can see being displayed there. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the right hand side we have got the controls I was using just a moment ago as well as stereo controls and some phone controls as well uh, all of which will come in handy when the phone is of course paired and I'll show you where that's done in just a moment on the left hand side of the steering wheel we have cruise control that button in the middle uh, give that a push once you set your cruise control and this car will use a kind of radar system um, to maintain a distance between you and the car in front. So if the car in front slows down, this car will slow down. If it speeds up, this will speed up, back up until uh, back up to the original speed you set the cruise control at. So really, really clever system. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen uh, radio. Now this is where you would pair up your phone, amongst other things. So we're on radio at the moment. You can see this car's got DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music in this car, there are loads of ways of doing it. Uh, you can see those on the screen just there. One of which is the Bluetooth audio. So once you've paired up that phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can listen to your music wirelessly as well. Uh, phone, the pairing of the phone is done by hitting the phone part there, and then find telephone and following the instructions on screen. Uh, this car's got satellite navigation as well. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and on our Facebook page, which is well worth checking out. Below that, we've got the air conditioning for the car. So you can select the temperature with this dial, fan speed on the middle dial, and then direction of the air over here. When that light is on, the air conditioning is on. Push that button to turn it off if you wish to. Underneath that, we've got the auxiliary and USB inputs, which are two of the ways of listening to your music. The other ways uh, are just over inside the glove box there, so your CD player and SD memory card slots. We have a six-speed manual gearbox. We've got the ability to turn on or off the parking sensors from here. And then on the left-hand side, we can turn off this car's stop and start system. So the car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. Press that button if you want to turn the system off. And finally, if I pop the car into reverse, you'll see that this car has got a full color reversing camera. Let's pop it back in again. A full color reversing camera and guidelines on the ground showing you where the car is headed in relation to the image that you see. And on top of that, you still maintain this section over to the left, which will show you uh, using kind of visual guidelines and beeps uh, how near any object is to you. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.